Hello everyone and welcome to Games, Comics and Crafts. In this video I'll be looking at Destro issue 2. Okay, so this is the second issue of Destro. Um, it's a good one. I think, it's, it, again, it, it's, it expands the, the world of the Energon universe a little bit. Um, but yeah, so anyway. It opens with Destro. Again, still don't know if it's supposed to be a metal face or whatever because it obviously moves around. Um, Opens Destro kind of basically explaining that the uh, extensive enterprises, which is the twins company, basically caused the attack on the uh, on them, destroyed a lot of equipment. And then you cut to the twins in New York City that are saying saying the same thing. Um, so they're basically saying, oh yeah, we're we're gonna kind of each of them are kind of like, vowing to out maneuver the other ones and destroy them as they kind of go along. Uh, there is attack on the Red Shadows base by uh, this guy who drops a bomb on it, which again, I don't know if that's, I don't know if this is an actual thing from the, uh, um, cartoons and the, uh, toy store, I believe it is. Um, the Red Shadows, I death, swear they're definitely from Action Force. Anyway, they come crashing down, um, they've got a building there they're going to attack that's apparently this research built, uh, research building from Mars, it's the Destro's lot, and it turns out that that's where they've got some of their, um, bats. Also, they apparently have energy on stored there, and they don't want them to find the energy on. So they kind of basically say they activate all the bat weapons to basically to knock out all of the red shadows that are attacking because they definitely need not to find the energy on sources. And there's a massive battle between those, and they kind of have a um, bit of a uh, a bit of an unwelcome uh, response. They reckon they're just going to kind of get away with it and destroy the stuff, but they don't actually manage to do so. Then we get these. Um, Asps, which again, I swear they they're there as well. Anyway, they're shooting down all the all the ground vehicle, uh, hot, the aircraft vehicles, the ground vehicles are shooting along as well. There's a big to do, big to do. Loads of losses on both sides. Um, he says, "Oh, I think we've made a point," and the, the twins are kind of saying, "Oh, yeah, I think I understand who we're dealing with." Then, and then we kind of go to an un, uh, undisclosed location of the Pacific Ocean, and uh, there's apparently loads of junk there that's been. Um, Carcasses of uh, kind of war machines, tanks, all this kind of stuff as well, and they kind of meet them up there. Um, and they basically say that uh, okay, we're going to have to come to a ceasefire. And they and the twins saying, well, why would we have a ceasefire after you started it? And they said, what, what do you mean? What do you, we started it. Now this is a bit I'm confused about because I was under the impression that the issue one of Destro seems to suggest that the twins didn't go to the meeting because they actually set up and tried to destroy as many of their competitors in the thing. Whether, now, I'm, now I'm looking back at this because they seem to claim um, that they don't know. Was it just that they were reveling in the fact that it got destroyed, and they, but they weren't there and they were happy with that? I don't know. So I'm, I'm hoping that's the case because, again, but who's the third person? Who's the th and that doesn't obviously be in this one. So I don't really know. I get the impression, though, that the twins are the actual people that put this forward. Um, basically, Destro kind of says that uh, there are... Did, did you know that there is, over since the 1950s or whatever, there have been um, six nuclear weapons that have mysteriously disappeared and the government believe that there is uh, kind of like... They've gone missing, they don't know where they are. And Destro says, well, actually, I've got one and it's currently targeted on this location. So if you're going to kill me, then I'm going to nuke this location and kill, kill the twins. So I think it's, okay, that's pretty cool. Destro pushing pushing the uh, megalomaniac uh, levels very, very high with this one. Um, and they basically decide, right, okay, this is it. We're going to carry on. Um, we're going to work together as as kind of thing. We're going to, if they die, he, they're going to absorb the extensive enterprises into Mars. And if Destro dies, then Mars will be absorbed into extensive enterprise. And say, so that's fine, that's to the death, but without collateral damage. So they're basically vowing to not um, destroy each other's bases, it would appear. But they look like each of those, each of the individuals is our open targets, it would seem. Um, and then we cut to the Scottish Highlands once again. It's the roughest Scottish islands I've ever seen. I know, it's, I know it's snowy and cold up there, but bloody hell, this is like the Himalayas. Um, goes inside this vault and kind of said the undisco uh, disco yeah, undiscovered location, undisclosed location, and um, basically says that there's 
ah, oh, you know, it's fine. I know where they are. They're going to be in Manhattan. They're never going to find me here. It's all very well. They're going to send assassins, but they're not going to find me. And it turns out they've already got an assassin ready to go uh, and uh, take him out. Now, judging by the cover, this is called Chameleon, uh, I believe. Um, now, as far as I'm aware, this is Chameleon. This is a blonde woman. And this is a new character to the Energy Universe. Because I think she's on that, um, on the, the when they did the wraparounds, or the, the four-part cover for the engine, she was the one of the characters that appeared on it. And I swear she was the only unique character that was that hasn't actually appeared in the, in any of the toys. I'm not definitely sure about that. Um, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. I'd be very grateful. Um, but I think she's unique to the engine universe at this point in time. So whether or not she's going to be fulfilling Baroness's part, because obviously Baroness is with G.I. Joe, technically, or whether or not it's just she's just going to be another character that's sidelined, I don't know, but it's she sounds it's pretty cool. Um, she seems to have a lot of tech on her, so anyway, so yeah, so um, again, not a bad issue. It, it I, I still think that they could have done a Death Drive series and then do that, did the uh, the end of Cobra Commander, where in the in the end of this one, so basically, you know, he's kind of done his bit and been beaten down or whatever and he kind of says well i have to join up with Cobra Commander now because I need, need the thing rather than being in, in the end of Cobra Commander um, but yeah all good um, Voyage World was next which is coming up this week I should be getting out hopefully the weekend we're again with a Springer cover then we've got the third issue of Scarlet and then we've got the fight between um, Transformers uh, in uh, Shockwave and um, Optimus Prime um, but yeah this, yeah, Energy Universe is still, I think, it's still the best thing going at the moment. So, more than happy to continue buying these. Uh, and definitely looking forward to a proper G.I. Joe book um, when that actually finally arrives, rather than kind of these mini series. But we'll see. But yeah, all in all, I did, uh, Destro was one that I was kind of a, a bit lukewarm on last time. This second issue has definitely made it a little bit more interesting. So, yeah, there you go. Right. So, with that, I will say thank you very much for listening. And hopefully, I will see you on another video. Bye bye.